How's it going, people? Simon Slabber here, and this is Median History. Let's get started. Quest requirements. So, for this, you need to have completed Druidic Ritual, Megan History. You don't actually need any skill levels whatsoever. You do need the Enchanted Key from the previous quest. If you don't have it, you can actually get it from Joral, and you also talk to Joral to start the quest. So, come to Joral, he's just southwest of the entrance to Trino Strald, and go ahead and ask him if there's anything you can do. Then offer your help. So as soon as you do, you'll be given a note. Go ahead and read it. And now you want to head constantly east until you hit the bridge just next to the Druidic Tower. So, finally, once you're at the tower, keep going west a little bit until you hit the bridge heading north. Go ahead and cross that. And directly to your right is a small little farm. You want to come about two or three spaces away from the top of the fence. Roughly around by here. And go ahead and feel the key. You should get a message saying it's burning hot or something along those lines. As soon as you do, go ahead and rub it and you'll be teleported into the past so you'll appear at this little farm here and now we've got to solve some problems so, now that we're here and you've regained control, head on into the farm. And on the east side of the farm, you will find an old woman named Laura. Or a woman at least. There she is. Go ahead and talk to her. You'll have a little conversation and then you'll realise you're actually in the past. So, as soon as you finish talking to her, go ahead and rub the key to return back to the present day. And once you're back, head on over to Joral. So, back to quest start. So, finally, once you're back here with Joel, go ahead and talk to him. You'll now gain more options on the key. So, now that we've got extra options, head on all the way back to the farm just north of Ardy right next to the Druidic Tower and we're going back to the past once again
So, finally, once you're at the bridge, go ahead and cross and go into the same spot as last time. And once you're here, go ahead and rub the key. And this time, we want to go to past A. So once you head on inside, and first off you want to talk to Jack. He's this kid right here. So once you finish talking with Jack, head on inside the house. And on the north side you'll find Roger. Go ahead and talk to him. So, once you've talked to him, go ahead and rub the key, and now you want to go to past B. And finally, once you're in here, head on out on the east side of the farm. And first off, you want to talk to Laura. As soon as you finish talking to her, head down a little bit and go ahead and talk to Jack, who's now a man. Now there's a bunch of questions. Tell him that you were a psychic. Option two. Then option one. Super Jack the Phantasmic. Then Cosmic Mind, Body and Fire Runes. Then Miss Ali and A. Then Seven. Then trying to create fire. Then create chocolate cakes. Good. And finally, Strawberry. So, once you've done that, you want to head over to the west side of the farm now, and go ahead and talk to Sarah about her trees. As soon as you've asked about the trees, go ahead and choose the other option, and you'll find out she's actually ill. Once you've done that, you now want to rub the key and head back to past A. Go ahead and pick up the spade and collect the pots right next to it. You'll gain six pots. And at this point, you now want to dig up every single one of these trees. So go ahead and use the spade on each one of these. Alright, now that you have them all, we now need to put them in order. So in the furthest southeast, the last one we just picked up, you want to put an avocado. Then the one in the southwest, you want to put a lemon. The one just north of that, you want to put a mango. The next one is pear. The northwest corner is plum. And the last remaining spot is for quince. Once you've done all that, head on inside the house. 
and we now need to collect some stuff from the drawers and the cupboards in the kitchen so go ahead and check them in total you need a pestle and mortar a bucket of milk some guam and a bowl So in the large drawers you'll find the pestle and mortar, the bucket of milk and the guam. In the cupboards in the corners you'll find charcoal and papyrus. And on the south side in those cupboards you should find your bowl. As soon as you've got all the items head outside to the beekeep and use your bowl on it to get a bowl of honey. Once you've got your bowl of honey use your bucket of milk on it. Then use the pestle and mortar with the guam to grind it down. And finally, use the ground guam with your bucket of milk honey. And go ahead and talk to Roger. Then use the bowl of honey, milk and guam on the baby. As soon as you do, you'll have a little cutscene and baby will stop crying. So there's only one other item to take note of and it's in the bedroom in this cupboard here and that is a brooch. We'll be needing that, the charcoal and the papyrus in just a second. But for now, go ahead and rub your key and we now need to go to past B. So as soon as you're in past me, go ahead and talk to Jack first, and you'll get a little cutscene from him. Next you want to go ahead and talk to Laura. Soon as you finish talking to her, head back to past A. Next, you want to head inside the house and check the corner cupboards for papyrus and charcoal. Use the charcoal with the papyrus and you'll create a map of runescape. Go ahead and give this map to Laura. Soon as she has that, head into past B. Talk to Laura once again. This time she'll ask for a brooch. Head back to past A. Head inside the house and into the bedroom and check the side drawer for the brooch. Once you have the brooch, head out next to where Laura is fixing the shed and you'll see a little dirt mound just next to it. Go ahead and use the brooch on that. That'll bury the brooch. As soon as you've done that, head to past B.
Head inside the shed, you'll find a shovel inside. Go ahead and pick up the spade. Once you've got the spade, dig up the mud mound. Simply use the spade on it. And you'll receive the brooch. Go ahead and use the brooch with Laura. And you'll get a nice little cutscene from here. So now that you've solved everybody's problems, go ahead and make your way back to the present day. Simply rub the key and it'll automatically do it. And once you're back, head on back to Jorrell and tell him about everything that's just happened. And that is it. That is quest complete. So as soon as you talk to Jorrell, that'll complete the quest for you. For completing this quest, you'll gain one quest point, a tome containing XP in three skills. That's a small amount of XP. You'll also be able to go treasure hunting with the enchanted key all across Gillinor, and you'll also gain two extra spins on the Squeal of Fortune. The tome will give 2,500 experience in three skills with level 25 or higher. You'll gain 1,000 XP in the first chapter, 1,000 XP in the second, and 500 for the third use. Additionally, you can head to Barak Museum and talk to Historian Minus, and that'll earn you 5 kudos. And that's pretty much it. There is a little mini-game to go for those treasure hunting. You can get the Majolnas from it. That's the Saran Majolna, the Guthix Majolna, and the Zamrak Majolna. But that is it. That's everything you get for this quest. Good times. Nice, easy, quick one. Requirement for one of the Ardy tasks. So there we go. Hope you all enjoyed. And have a good day. Catch you later.